So we're here today to uh, give you a little bit more insight into how we made the journey to the Savage Planet. I'm here with Ed Hardison IV, uh, a, a, a very fine character artist. I worked with, we, we made Connor on Assassin's Creed. That's it. We made Pagan Min on Far Cry 4. Exactly. And now we're here making crazy, like weird creatures uh, for Journey to the Savage Planet. So. It wasn't something that came up early on, but you know, it, it felt like realism was a real focus for the game and making sure that these creatures were believable, uh, that they had believable life cycles within the game. So it has worked incredibly hard to construct uh, brushes and techniques and methodologies to create these creatures um, to the point that we have just perfected a final, a final brush uh, for the game. Show, show them, show them, man. Yeah, so what we like to refer to is our sphincter brush. Mm. Oh that yeah, that's good. I can click and drag and instantly install any sphincter anywhere I want. A butthole. A butthole. <laughs> but, uh, How many games do you think go to that level of detail that the, the creatures have? I'd say it's very rare. Very rare. Very rare. Very rare. Uh, this, I feel, I feel like this is, I feel like this is, this is an industry first. The pucker brush? Yeah. It's definitely an industry first. Yeah. I feel like we're breaking ground. This is broken ground. Yeah. We have arrived. The pinnacle of my career right here. Yeah. With the sphincter brush. I think this is it. Yeah, making bubbles as much as I can, professionally. And as much as I trust Ed and his quest for realism, I want a second opinion. So we're here at the General Hospital of Montreal to talk to a proctologist. So here we are uh, to get an expert's opinion. Uh, I am here with an imminent proctologist and I'm going to show him some of Ed's uh, hard work. In the search of accuracy, our lead character artist Ed Hardison has, has built a butthole brush. So as you see here, he can apply a butthole uh, to anything. So what we want to know from you is it, you know, is it is it accurate? Is it something that look even resembles vaguely an actual uh, uh, butthole? Um, so it's called an anus. <laughs> uh, it's not a butthole. So the medical term is anus. Those kind of look like um, an anal canal. Yeah, it could be. So mo most creatures uh, are. Animals and, and humans have one, mm -hmm. um, so it's not very common. To it's an unusual work. situation. It's an unusual situation. But these are aliens from a different world, so maybe they excrete differently, and, and so they have multiple buttholes. Um, Did you have a fascination with buttholes from an early age? Um, I always liked gastroenterology. Yes. So, so this is uh, one of my favorite characters. So he's a fleet enema. Do you know what a fleet enema is? No. So a fleet enema is if you want to sort of clean up the bottom part, uh, or if you're constipated and you want to get rid of some of the stool, uh, you give yourself a fleet enema. So for your characters, if they ever needed to be, to, you know, to look into their anal canal or to their colon, you would use an enema. Something like this. Are these for sale? Can you buy these? No, these are limited edition, uh, so they don't sell them anymore. Thank you so much right. for your time, Thank I appreciate you it. So there you have it. Uh, our quest for authenticity has been blessed by the experts. We hope you join us on the Savage Planet on January 28th, 2020.